Well, we are standing here in the uh, historic Varsity Cinema, the last uh, operating historic cinema here in Des Moines. Uh, this building was built in 1917, um, and it was actually just kind of a spec industrial building, briefly uh, automotive sales and service. And then it was uh, the Coca-Cola bottling plant for about 10 years of its early life. Uh, in 1938, the building was renovated into a movie theater, a single screen movie theater. And uh, it's, it's been a theater uh, ever since then. Then in about 1956, it was sold to uh, Bob Fridley and Bev Mahon, who were partners at the time, owned several theaters together. And then when their partnership dissolved, uh, Bev Mahon uh, held on to the varsity. And he was the operator here then um, up until, until uh, his death, and then his family continued to operate it uh, right up until the end of, of 2018. Des Moines Film, uh, my organization, we're a, a film arts nonprofit with a, a broad mission to grow the film culture in Des Moines. Our long-term vision always included operating a full-time cinema as well as hopefully a, a festival event as well. And then at the end of 2018, when the Mahon family announced that they would no longer be operating the Varsity, we said, well, really, this is the perfect venue for us to execute that vision. So we just, we knew it'd be a great fit. We'd be carrying on this legacy. You know, in addition, while historic preservation is not uh, a core piece of our nonprofit's mission, it's something that's very important to me personally, to many of our board members. It's something we're passionate about. And so to be able to preserve the last operating historic theater in Des Moines was something that was, that was important to us as well. Well, anytime you take on a historic um, building, and especially a historic theater that has an assembly space, there's always twists and turns to the rehabilitation process. Um, for us, it was building a strong team from the beginning with contractors, with historic preservation consultants, with an architecture firm that really understood not only the vision that we had for the space, but also how that vision aligns with the physical building that we had. We wanted to maintain um, the, the physical integrity of the building, but at the same standpoint, really modernizing the varsity for a modern customer experience um, and to, uh, to accept the, the technology needs that we have and really build, um, uh, first and foremost, the accessibility of the space because we want to make sure that we were creating a, a varsity that was, that was open to everyone. The varsity never had much of a lobby. It, you know, when it was renovated, it was really just about creating the biggest auditorium possible with just kind of a tiny little lobby at the front. We knew we needed to expand that lobby space. So expanding the lobby space was another big component of it. I think it really welcomes people in. Um, you know, we've got some kind of expanded concession offerings and particularly the kind of beer, wine and alcohol, you know, makes it a, a kind of a nice place for people to hang out. And I think what I like about this lobby is this is a place I see people congregating and I see kind of those community connections happening. Uh, the second floor was um, kind of, for its longest portion of history, was used as, as an office. Um, when we looked at that uh, second floor, we really wanted to think about how we could use this small building to its highest and best use. Um, so we uh, worked with our architect team with the State Historic Preservation Office to get very creative about how we can manipulate that space for our needs. We needed that second screen. It doubled our programming capabilities, um, but it also provides a lot of flexibility. There's a lot of people that come in with the feeling of, oh, you know, the, the, the renovation looks great, the, the improvements look great. But when we take them upstairs, that's when they really get wowed. That's when they realize that there's an entire part of this building that they have never had access to. You know, the main auditorium really brings me a lot of joy too. Um, I love to see people kind of ooh and ah when they walk into it for the first time, especially if they were used to the previous iteration of the space. And then, um, you know, it, it is our big showpiece space. It's where our large events are. And so again, I just, I like to see it being, you know, activated and see a lot of people in there having a really great movie experience. One of the visions that we have as a board um, that's operating the Varsity Cinema is really to create a sustainable neighborhood theater that is providing a, a large, uh, diverse scale of programming here for the community of Des Moines. You know, Des Moines Film is, uh, you know, a, a, a nonprofit with a, a mission, kind of a citywide, you know, mission to grow the film culture in Des Moines. Varsity is our, our hub right now, but we definitely do have ideas and ambitions that go beyond that. And so I certainly, we certainly expect to be growing and expanding in the coming years, but we're, we're really just so grateful to have this, this, you know, full-time venue um, that we can, we can operate in right now. Our goal really as a nonprofit was to be, for the Varsity to be our home and to be the hub of building a vibrant uh, film culture here in the community of Des Moines.